Hello, welcome to another video tutorial from Polymath Learning Center. The question is, as a marathon, each participant completed either a 5km route, a 7km route, or a 9km route. One out of four, a quarter of the participants completed the 5km route, nine out of 20 of the participants completed the 7km route, and the rest completed the 9km route. For every one kilometer a participant ran, $3 was donated to charity. A total of $6,390 was donated to charity. What is the ratio of the number of participants who completed the 5km routes to the number who completed the 7km routes to the number who completed the 9km routes? And B, what is the total number of participants at the marathon? Alright, first and foremost, we are given several proportion, okay, a quarter and 9 over 20, representing the 5km route and the 7km route. Okay, so one quarter of the participants completed the 5km route. So one quarter is actually the 5km route participant. And the 7km route is represented by the fraction 9 over 20. So now, we can see a problem here. 5km, the proportion, one quarter. The denominator 4 represents the total. So do... Okay, the de so that's the denominator of the 7km root. Alright, so actually they are referring to the same total. We can change them to the lowest common multiple of 4 and 20. Okay, the, the lowest common multiple of 4 and 20 is 20. Alright, so I change the 5km root fraction only to 5 over 20. So we can ex actually express a ratio now. The ratio of 5km participants, 7km, and the participants taking part in the 9km route. We know that the denominator is 20, so the total number of units is 20. And the 5km route will be 5 units, alright, represented by these 5 units. Okay, so. 7km is represented by this 9 unit. Alright, so 7km is 9. So 9km participants is represented by 20 units minus 5 minus 9. Okay, which total sum up to 14. So 20 minus 14 is 6km. 6 units. Alright, so 6. So there we have it for A. They want the ratio. For 5 km root to 7 km root to 9 km root, so uh, the answer is 5 is to 9 is to 6. Okay, moving on to part B of the question. What is the total number of participants at the marathon? Alright, so now in order to find the total number of participants at the marathon, we must first have a value that represents um, the participants or the distance. Alright, so we are given a dollar value here instead. Alright, but there's no problem with converting this dollar value, 6390, into the number of kilometers they run in total. This is because uh, the, for every kilometer the participants ran, you will receive $3 for charity. And therefore, the total amount collected for charity is $6,390. Alright, and if you divide by the rates of $3 per kilometer, you'll find the number of kilometer. Okay, so the number of kilometer you run is 2,130 kilometer. Okay, so now you have the total distance ran in kilometers, 2,130. However, this ratio given to you is actually the ratio of the participants. It does not represent it does not represent the distance that is traveled okay so if we want to find the distance traveled we look at one group in a typical group there will be 20 people here all right so what a ratio means is that for every five people who ran 5 km routes, there will be 9 running the 7 km routes, and there will be 6 running the 9 km routes. 
All right, therefore, in a typical group, there will be 5 is to 9 is to 6, running the 5 km, 7 km, and 9 km routes, respectively. All right, so we group them together. There are 5 people who run 5 km. So total, that would be 25 kilometers. There are 9 people who ran 7 km. Okay, that would be 63 kilometers. And there are a total of 6 people who ran 9 km. Alright, that will be 54 km. We will add these 3 total kilometers in a group together to find the total distance ran by a typical group. Okay, so we'll take 25 km plus 63 km plus 54 km. And we will get the answer of 142 km. Okay, this is the distance ran per group. Alright, of course there will not be just one group of this. There will be many groups of this. That's why you're able to reach 2130 km ran in total. This is the distance ran in total by all the participants all right so if i take the total distance traveled 2130 divided by the distance traveled per group i will get 15 number of groups all right we want to find the total number of participants so we all we need to do okay we know that one group actually has 20 people okay so one group has 20 people we have 15 groups so 15 times 20 we will have our answer 300 all right so um, this concept is called grouping or you can call it number times value Alright, where you are given the number of participants but not given the ratio of yeah sorry you are given the number of participants in ratio but you're not given the distance travel in ratio so you have to get it yourself by grouping them together all right that's all we have for you today and thank you for watching see you again goodbye